Hey guys, and welcome back to how to make elements from household materials. Today's element will be silver, again. So previously, we made silver from relay chips, and um, dissolved off the silver in, um, or dissolved off the copper in some nitric acid, um, to get the pure silver. But, now, I said no silver, um, was stuck in solution, but it was actually able to get some. And it was in the form of silver nitrate. So um, anyhow, I have the silver nitrate in this, uh, jar here. And, um, we're going to try to take the silver nitrate and turn it into silver metal. So this kind of links in with my other video, but I thought I'd just do a separate video about it. Um, so anyhow, with the silver nitrate, what we simply need to do is uh, dis dissolve it into warm water um, as the first step. And um, also get some copper ready, uh, copper wire, or any type of copper, um, because we're going to need that. So I'll be back in a moment once I've dissolved this into solution. Okay, so you can see we have it uh, dissolved into solution here. Um, so now that that's nice and dissolved, we're just going to want to take a small piece of copper wire or pipe or any form of copper that you uh, might have, and um, we're just going to drop it in. Um, so I'm just quickly coiling it up so that um, we'll be able to grab it by the top here. Um, and now we just have to wait while um, the silver uh, displace or... Uh, changes places with the copper creating copper nitrate in solution and pure silver metal which will precipitate out onto the copper which we should be able to shake off um, so I'm gonna leave this for quite a while and we'll see what it looks like uh, in a bit of time uh, so see you then okay so um, I let that sit for probably about an hour or so um, it actually went by a lot faster than um, I expected so I filtered off the solution and we're left with um, all the silver here now that's actually a huge amount, more than I expected. So um, this was from those silver relays um, from a previous project, and um, a lot of silver got dissolved in the nitric acid, a lot more than I expected. Um, anyhow, so from all that silver nitrate, we got that much silver, and um, here's a solution of uh, copper um, nitrate. And I just have my copper wire still in there just to see if I could get any more off, because you never know. Um, if there is some more, then that would be great. But anyhow, so what I'm going to do with this, our silver powder, is take a desiccator bag. Um, now this is really simple to make. Um, this is just a canning jar with some uh, sodium hydroxide, which you can find, um, it's called household lye, and you could uh, find it at home hardware or whatever. You could also use potassium hydroxide, basically anything that's quite hydroscopic. Anyhow, which means it absorbs water out of the air. Anyhow, so you want to put some in a jar, I have it sealed off right now, but I'm going to stick in my silver powder and open the jar and leave it overnight, and in the morning it should be nice and dry. Um, and then our silver powder will be able to uh, be melted um, into a nice small ingot. Um, so I'll be back uh, after the silver powder is nice and dry, and then we can get to the melting. So um, there's a glob of silver powder which has been dried out now, and um, it's just sitting on there. Um, now it's in a much finer state than in my previous video, so I think I should be able to melt it with... Uh, this propane, but I'm not totally sure. Um, so if this doesn't work, I'll just use my arc furnace. But um, I have it heated from below, and um, I'm just going to heat it from on top also. So, oh, I can see it melting a bit. So, oh yeah, definitely melting. So, uh, if worse comes to worse, we'll just get into um, a more collected bead, and then we'll be able to melt it fully on our. Um, arc furnace. Although it seems to be working pretty well just here. Wow, that is a nice bead of silver that we're getting. There's a lot of little pieces that were left around on the edges, so we'll have to make sure we scavenge all of those. So um, I'm going to try to melt all these into a huge bead and I'll be back. Okay, so you can see, um, here's the bead that we just got, then from last time we made silver, there's the bead. So this is what was stuck in solution, a huge amount. This itself weighs one gram. Um, I'm not sure how much this reads because, um, I, I only have a scale that measures in grams, not, um, anything smaller. Um, but this is one gram, so that's a huge amount of silver that was in solution. You can see it's a lot duller and not as nice. Uh, because since I melted it with a propane torch, um, I melted it on top of a piece of um, aluminum from, or well, steel from a 
steel tin cam and um whatever coating they had came off and uh stuck to the surface of my uh silver so i highly recommend not doing that just use your arc furnace if you have one um in the previous video i used the arc furnace on this one and you can see it's like beautiful so i'll probably re-redo this with um, my arc furnace to get a nicer sample but um anyhow so there's how to get uh silver out of silver nitrate um if you have that stuck in solution or something um so anyhow hope you enjoyed okay bye